Every once in a while, a technological leap arrives that doesn't just improve the present, it rewrites the future. And in 2025, China has done exactly that. In fact, the pace of innovation happening there right now is so fast, so relentless, and so far-reaching that it's becoming nearly impossible to keep up. This is why I love making videos about China. Because every single day, China unveils something that pushes the world forward. An invention, a scientific discovery, a mega-project, or a technological milestone that shows us what the next era of humanity could look like. This year alone, China has delivered four major breakthroughs that will shape global industries for decades. A new self-healing battery that can end gas car usage forever, a record-breaking canyon bridge built in a fraction of the time, and cost, Western nations spend on repairs. A series of AI advances so powerful that even major American companies are now using Chinese models over American ones, and astonishing nuclear energy progress that is redefining the global energy landscape. If you want to know where the true frontiers of innovation are forming, and how China has quietly positioned itself at the center of global technological leadership, this is the full story. Let's dive in. I've covered Chinese EVs for years, and while EV adoption is rising worldwide, there has always been one persistent obstacle battery range and degradation. Traditional batteries slowly break down over time because tiny cracks form between internal components, similar to how a road cracks after years of traffic. These micro-fractures reduce efficiency, limit range, and shorten overall battery lifespan. But Chinese scientists have just changed everything. The first self-healing electric vehicle battery researchers have invented a new battery that essentially heals itself while in operation. They developed a special iodine-based glue that automatically flows into damaged regions, sealing cracks and restoring structural integrity. Just like skin closes over a cut on your finger, the battery repairs itself while driving. The results are mind-blowing. This new self-healing system allows the battery to store 86% more energy than current EV batteries. To put that into perspective, an EV using this battery can travel over 1,000 kilometers, over 620 miles, on a single charge. That means you could drive a round trip from Los Angeles to San Francisco without charging once. No other country, not the US, not Japan, not Germany, has attempted anything like this. This breakthrough alone could mark the permanent end of gas-powered cars as mainstream vehicles. And yet, the battery is only one part of China's incredible 2025 story. Our next breakthrough brings us to Guizhou, which is, you know, one of China's poorest regions and also the so-called bridge capital of the world. In 2025, China completed what is now officially the tallest bridge ever built, the Huazhong Grand Canyon Bridge, built in just three years and eight months. Think about that for a second. The tallest bridge in human history, constructed in under four years. In the United States, this would barely be enough time to complete environmental impact studies or even preliminary planning. In China, it's enough time to build a world record, and for only $300 million. Go online and you'll see Americans stunned, and honestly, kind of embarrassed, at how quickly and inexpensively China built this engineering masterpiece. Why? Because at the same time, the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore collapsed. Repairs, not a new bridge, just repairs, are expected to take four years, and the cost? a staggering $2 billion. Meanwhile, China built an entirely new world record bridge from scratch for just 15% of the price in less time. So, what makes this bridge so special? The Huazhong Grand Canyon Bridge stands 2,050 feet above the Canyon River. It cuts travel time from two hours to just two minutes. It features a high-speed glass elevator that whisks visitors to a cafe more than half a mile above the water. The bridge offers bungee jumping, panoramic viewing decks, waterfall sightseeing, and a 1,900-foot glass walkway. This isn't just infrastructure, this is national ambition made visible.
it's also a clear demonstration of something many Westerners just can't wrap their heads around. China still builds big things, fast. The United States no longer does. As I joked in a recent tweet about Chongqing's massive new train station, whenever people ask me what China is like, I tell them, I could explain it. But you probably wouldn't believe me. The third major breakthrough of 2025 is in artificial intelligence. And honestly, this one shocked a lot of people. One of America's largest tech companies, Airbnb, publicly revealed that it uses a Chinese AI model as the backbone of its AI system. Not ChatGPT, not Google Gemini, not Meta's Llama. Airbnb chose Alibaba's Quen model. CEO Brian Chesky said that ChatGPT wasn't ready for integration at Airbnb's scale, while Alibaba's Quen model was faster, cheaper, more flexible, easier to integrate, and more suited to global deployment. This is massive, because it proves that, well, Chinese AI is no longer catching up. It's leading. And the reason for this shift comes down to two key differences between Chinese and American AI development. So let's talk about difference number one. Chinese AI is open source, while American AI is closed. In the United States, billions, and now even trillions, of dollars are flowing into closed-source, profit-maximizing models. These are, you know, tightly controlled by just a handful of companies, and they're driving what a lot of analysts are saying is a bubble that's something like 17 times larger than the dot-com crash. Even Sam Altman has admitted that, yeah, an AI bubble is forming. China, on the other hand, is building a totally different ecosystem. It's open source, application focused, and really developer driven. Chinese AI models are open source. They're cheaper, easier to customize, faster to adopt, way more flexible, and honestly, they're built for real world use, not just for hype cycles. Alibaba alone has released more than 300 open source base models supporting over 170,000 derivative models. This makes it the largest open source AI ecosystem on earth. Alibaba co-founder Joe Kai recently said, the winner of AI will not be the company that builds the strongest model. It will be the company that adopts AI the fastest. And honestly, Airbnb clearly agrees. While we're on the subject of AI, I've teamed up with Outskill to offer my subscribers something special, their two-day live AI mastermind, normally a $395 program, has been opened up to my audience for free. It runs this Saturday and Sunday from 10 in the morning to 7 in the evening, and more than 10 million people worldwide have already attended. You'll learn how to build AI agents and workflows, launch an AI business capable of earning $5,000 a week, use more than 10 advanced AI tools, create AI-powered Excel and presentation systems, and get certified in AI usage. The training has a 4.9 out of 5 rating on Trustpilot, and the instructors come from companies like Microsoft, Google, NVIDIA, and OpenAI. If you complete both days, you unlock bonuses valued at over $5,000, including a prompt Bible, a monetization roadmap, and a personalized AI toolkit. The link is in the description. Go ahead and save your spot. China's new self-healing battery, its record-setting mega-projects, its open-source AI revolution, its surging nuclear and clean energy innovation, all of these are connected by one theme. China is no longer the world's factory. China is now the world's future building machine. The rest of the world is still debating, arguing, and struggling with bureaucracy and political paralysis. China, China is building, China is inventing, China is accelerating, and if the next decade looks anything like 2025, we may soon look back at this moment as the year the global center of innovation finally decisively shifted east.